Hello gorgeous souls. My name is Rochelle and welcome back. Welcome to the DIY Affiliates and Collectives Soul Journey. I'd like to say a special welcome to all of my new subscribers and everybody who is with me on this life journey where we talk about awakening, awakening to a twin flame journey, the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome, energies, frequencies, and chakras. In this short video, I will be showing you through illustrations, build interactions with the seven chakras. Before we get to the video, if you are looking for knowledge about the six stages of awakening or the twin flame journey, then look to the top right and find a playlist and you can choose the right video for you. And please take a moment to subscribe to my channel for more updated content. I give you just the facts. Jump in the video. We are not just physical bodies. There is a pulsing electromagnetic energy field that connects us and the scientific community has recently caught up with ancient teachings regarding the aura or the auric field. They have found that the aura is the electromagnetic field of energy that extends all around the body, expanding about four to five feet away from the body in an average healthy body. It will extend out a shorter distance for people who are not healthy. This is an energy source field that interacts with our physical body by flowing through spirals of energy centers located in specific places in the body. The spiral energy centers are known as chakras. This is a Sanskrit word meaning wheels of light. There are seven main chakras plus a number of smaller ones that interact with our body's ductless and endocrine glands and lymphatic system. By feeding in the good energy and disposing or getting rid of unwanted energy, this helps to regulate the energy as it flows in and around and through your body. So this is important to our health because we want to prevent illness or disease. So we need to learn how to nourish our chakras and understand what is this energy pulsing through the body. Have you heard of the word prana? What is it and what does it mean? We get most of our sustenance from the Mother Earth, from the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food that we eat. This all creates prana, which is a vital life force life force that can be absorbed into your body through the chakras. When your physical body is fully in harmony with life, a larger central line of energy called the Shushumna Hara line extends down through the auric field right into the earth's core. This is called the umbilical cord to Mother Earth. Take a quiet moment to ground yourself, picturing your central energy line like a strong root that can pierce through all the layers of the earth. This will help you to feel more deeply connected and relaxed. When you are connecting with nature and with your body, it helps to keep your chakras open and your auric source field clear. So now what is this energy which is the life source of the universe? Prana. Prana is an energy that pulses through the body along a network of subtle body channels. Similar to the nervous system, the channels or nadis, meaning pathways of the subtle body, connect, mm -hmm. form, and mind and act as a conduit for this prana energy. Most of us feel better in a natural environment, so going out for a walk in nature or going to the park or to enjoy the energy of the beautiful green plants you have in your home or your office. This will give you the beneficial charge of negative ions. Negative ions versus positive ions. Positive ions 
are the ions that are present in large concentrations in polluted city air. You can also get negative ions from a Himalayan salt lamp. If you think of the chakra as bioenergy that flows in and around our body, surrounding our body, surrounding our body is the subtle energy. Sometimes this is referred to as layers of the auric field or the subtle energy bodies of the aura. The human being's colorful energy field is shaped like an egg or an oval, a light of different colors. Each color is associated with one of the seven chakras. Some people may say it is cocoon shaped. This surrounds the body and it is made of seven layers of subtle energy blending together. The colors vary from all the colors of the chakras plus darker clouds of colors. Generally, the energy becomes faster and finer as it moves away from the physical body, and some people call this the luminous auric field. By looking at a person's aura, you can see the level of spirituality. The more advanced a person is, the lighter the colors are. You can see these lighter colors in the auric source field. In a very advanced person, in a person with advanced spirituality, the colors will appear to be pure, clear light of spirit. Mm -hmm. I mentioned subtle energy. What is it? First, let's learn about the subtle energy system of the body. The subtle energy system has three components, the meridians, the chakras, and the aura. Meridians or natus are pathways in which energy travels within our tissues that runs, this runs on each side of the body. There are 12 major meridians, the stomach, the spleen, the small intestine, large intestine, heart, lung, bladder, kidney, Procardian, mm -hmm. triple warmer, meridian, gallbladder. And each one mirrors each on each side, it mirrors the other side. And each meridian is correlated to an internal organ. So, where does this subtle energy come from? This concept comes from a collective of people who accept that the human being has the ability to see or hear forces that are energy pulsing through the body that cannot be measured physically. What is this vital life force? This is the prana that can be absorbed into your body through the chakras. Prana is an energy that pulses through the body along a network of subtle, of subtle body channels similar to the central nervous system the channels of the subtle body or natus connect form and mind and act as a conduit for prana energy here is a disclaimer i am not an expert and the information i am presenting is based on books i have read online knowledge along with my own knowledge through experience everyone's journey is different and so is your experience You can use this video as your own video. You can download this video or even use pieces of it. It is under the Creative Commons license. That out of the way, here is the seven layers or qualities of subtle energy bodies. There are seven qualities or seven energy bodies corresponding to each chakra within the auric field. This video I am mentioning an app which is called the Ancient Sofa Show Tones and Frequencies in which you will be able to access all of the frequencies that will help to open and balance the seven chakras. The first 
energy body is the etheric energy body it is made up of vibrating energy it is the closest to the physical body the etheric operates as a life force or the life battery of the body because it is closest to the physical body it is the one that is typically the first auric energy body that people are able to see with their physical eyes. It extends about five centimeters from the physical body and connects inward to the base chakra, as well as the other organs of the body. It is the life force energy that surrounds all living things. The etheric body stays with the physical body until it dies. It is attached to the organs, glands, nervous system, and the energy flows through the base or root chakra. The etheric body is associated with touch, feeling, sight, sound, smell, taste. Number two, the emotional energy body. This subtle energy body or layer flows from the sacral chakra or second ch chakra from the base or root. The sacral ch chakra or the savishana and expands approximately 10 centimeters outward from the etheric energy body. This energy layer of the auric source field changes color most often as it is affected directly by a person's emotionally, emotional state. How you feel deep inside matters. Your words are powerful, but it is how you feel down to your core, the emotion that you are feeling and creating that will show up in your emotional body energy. And this is the second layer of your auric source field. When a person sees different colors mixed in the aura, the emotional body energy is what the person is seeing. This energy body is especially easy to view when the person is in a highly emotional state. Generally, the brighter and clearer the colors are in this layer, the more balanced and healthy the person is, the more emotionally secure the person is. Muddy colors typically indicate emotional stress and trauma. The emotional energy body will be either bright light or swirling with dirty clouds of negative energy. These are issues such as unresolved karma or leftover baggage, which can block and stagnate any progress you are making on your own soul journey. If you feel happy at your core, then your first and second subtle energy bodies will display clear bright colors that most people can see. Number three, the mental energy body. This is the, uh, the layer of the auric source field. And this is connected to the Manipura solar plexus chakra. The Manipura, and this concerns the mental concepts of our world. You will find the energy is starting to pulsate faster and at a finer level. And it will even pulsate faster and finer if your mind is more active and in the receiving mode. The mental body size varies greatly from 5 centimeters to 30 centimeters. The average size ranges from 10 to 20 centimeters. The mental body connects to the solar plexus chakra. Number four, the higher mental body. The more layers that are added to the auric field, the finer and faster the energy is pulsing. And this is connected to Anahata Heart Chakra. When it comes to the higher mental body, this is where our auras merge and interact with other people, animals, plants, and your surroundings. And the universe, here we feel the love of relationships. And this is strongly associated with the Heart Chakra, Anahata sometimes referred to the spiritual astral body and is primarily a connective bridge that carries energy from the higher planes of existence and delivers it into the lower three bodies, the mental, emotional, and etheric. Its primary function is to connect with the heart chakra, the Anahata, and to deliver the pure energetic and vibrational energy of love from the spiritual planes, from the divine, into the heart chakra. This astral body extends 30 centimeters from the physical body and when fully functioning can expand much further.
Number five, the spiritual body. This is associated with the, the universe, the divine, and it is connected through the throat chakra, the Vishadhara. Number six is the casual body or celestial body and is connected with the third eye chakra or the Anya. This is where we experience the spirit world and its influences and where we start to understand the spirit world, what it causes and the effects in our life. This body expands on average 90 to 100 centimeters from the other layers. The celestial body is very light and its tasks are focused on the spiritual realm. It is connected to the third eye chakra and it is the opening of your spiritual eyes. This is the place where you are able to connect intimately with the other side for communication. When the third eye chakra is open and balanced, you can tune into and trust your intuition and your imagination. See life with more clarity, have more self-awareness, be emotionally balanced, and this will help you to make the good balanced decisions in your life. Recognizing and understanding the divine mind and will will start to help you to align with the divine blueprint and the divine plan. Remembering the soul contracts and starting on your own divine soul journey with your purpose and your path. You are strong and full of energy. The energy will fit with the divine patterns of the divine will. You will feel connectedness with everything that is around you because you will be in a place you are meant to be in. You will see synchronization with everything. Connection to all things, including the earth, self, to what people refer to as God, the universe, the beyond, the divine, or higher self. Number seven, the Catholic body. This layer links us to the divine mind, our higher truth, our superconscious, and our higher self. The Catholic body extends between two and a half to three and a half from the physical body, being one with the universe and connects with the Sasharara, crown chakra, holds all the information about your soul in the past, present, and future, it vibrates at the highest frequency, and this, through the crown chakra, provides the ability to surrender to the path of the divine and to recognize your psychic abilities. Creating a connection through the, ca the catharic aura layer gives you an elevated sense of knowing a higher level of consciousness. Being able to connect to the higher spiritual planes of existence, it will be easier to understand how the higher planes of existence function through the crown chakra. Chakras respond to our emotions and those of other people, which sometimes they try to dump on us. It is up to each of us to keep our auric field clear and to understand that no one else can do it. You are the only one. You are the only one who can empty your own trash bin. You are responsible for your own emotions. When you start to live with the responsibility of your own emotions, you can never say he hurt me emotionally or she hates me or the classic you have made me feel bad or you made me do it to be positive and opening and willing to change is the first step thank you for being on this journey with me and thank you for your continued support of this message and this channel please leave a comment and Tell us where you are on your journey. And is there a specific video you would like to see me create with illustrations? I read all my comments. Looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video, where I will be doing an illustrated 20-minute 7 Chakras opening meditation for relaxation.